Hey guys, I wanted to make this video for some time and then I was reminded by a comment. So MTG Rhino is a young kid. He has been on the Wizard of the Coast official website and I think his content is pretty good. He looks like he is eight, maybe younger. He started a Kickstarter, it didn't get funding. I don't remember if he asked me for help, but if he asked me for help, again, I would help him. So his channel is pretty good. Many of you might ask, what does this have to do with Wedge? Which I assume I put in the title. So Wedge and this young child got into a fight about Planned Parenthood. Let me repeat that again. Wedge, a grown adult, got into a fight with this guy who looks like he's eight and at the time probably seven. So this was uh, over almost a year ago over a discussion on Planned Parenthood. And this is a very easy way for me to show you why magic is going to the left because people like Wedge use their opinions and they use the fact that they did charity work to win the argument, although the argument is not about that. So his Twitter handle is MTG Young Maids. That is our baby rhino. This is the most disappointing tweet I've read in a while. You're not even a teenager yet. Read up on PP. Spend less time on Twitter. So this was May 20th, 2017. Wedge woke up especially early that day, so woke, and tweeted that about, so PP is Planned Parenthood. Now, how do we get into the next discussion? I don't know. I'm just going to read it to you verbatim. Remember, he's just a kid though. I disagree with the view, but I think he expressed it politely enough. Let's not dogpile on him. I mean, gosh, I remember some of the comments I made as a young kid about not needing feminism and feminism being bad. Laugh out loud. Which I said because my mom worked a lot and I was envious of the kids who had stay-at-home moms who seemed to have time for them. So nothing wrong with this, but I just wanted to show that when Wedge tweets something, like his hate for me, it gets lots of people interested and the dogpiling automatically happens. Of course, Wedge has accused Unsleeve Media, Jeremy, of doing the same exact tactic. He's accused me of not deleting a comment because I was out. Imagine that, I'm not on a computer on a Saturday. Difference is, I didn't have the ability to put my views online or get roasted for them. Wedge didn't roast him, I just said what needed to be said in a straightforward manner. Just because it was blunt doesn't mean it wasn't necessary. I'm talking more about the MTG community as a whole. Sorry, didn't mean to be pointed towards you specifically. I should have made a tweet. So what Wedge is accusing or what Wedge is accused of in this case is when he responds to something in a negative or blunt way, his subscribers are going to dogpile. That is the same with you guys. That's the same with any of the OK size channels. I don't think it's specific to magic. It's part of internet culture. Real easy to jump at a differing review. Hard not to when it's real dumb. Smiley face. Haha, this is true. I tried to school him in my comments too. Again, we're dealing with a guy at the time who was probably six or seven He's just trying to make some magic YouTube comments or content. He's trying to get his name out there, that MTG Rhino. And yeah, I mean, this is uh, not what you expect from a pillar of the community, right? Differing views, huh? Huh. Ah, glad I wasn't up. I have lost some good friends in the MTG community for siding with him. With... A seven to eight year old, I, I'm trying to get over the fact that this is a young child interested in Magic the Gathering and he's being dog powered by one of the biggest Magic the Gathering YouTube creators, a person who voted for the Hall of Fame with his 
amazing credentials, who has never been on a pro tour, never received a pro tour point. And in my opinion, he went to the community cup. The community cup is not like a bunch of like sharks or really good magic players. They're like people who work at Wizards of the Coast who occasionally play magic at lunch hour. And he went, he didn't win a single game. I think he lost like 10, 12, 16 games in a row or something. That's why, like, when people ask, oh, no, so-and-so plays back. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? Regardless of how anyone feels about abortion, saying PP exists only for abortions is objectively incorrect. What's my original point? You need to remember how rabid the MTG fanbase can get, and you are a very large figure in the community. People rally to the biggest dog. Did he adopt that pit bull that I offered yet? Can someone check up on that? And does he have health insurance yet? Can someone check on that too? And while you may not have intended to attack him, the more energetic community members will just based on will just based on you debating him. This is true. I mean, Wedge knows this because he's been the recipient of this. He's accused multiple people, including me, of doing this. And yet he's doing this to a young child. I mean, what the blank, Wedge? What the blank? Because when you talk about community and we're all happy and we all love each other, that's all fake. It's so fake. And the reason it's fake, because when you have a, a little rhino and the rhino is trying to get bigger, you know, he's trying to get you know, a Kickstarter to fund his growth of his channel, you don't have these pillars of community promoting this little rhino, right? They don't do that. And then his Kickstarter fails. What do they promote? Their own medical bills, their own Patreons. Can I have a dollar? But if we truly were a community that really cared about each other, wouldn't we want the youngest members of our community to grow and then they could get more young members interested? Why are all the members of our large members of our community, why do they ex look exactly the same, say the exact same things? It's not a surprise that everyone signed up for Pico Trade. These large channels all had Pico Trade videos the day after each other. Do you think that is coordinated? Maybe. Over the long term, we've gotten pretty good at recognizing those people and making those sure we respond accordingly, aka not at all. Recognizing those people. Does that sound like a Hillary quote? Those people. I mean, we have pretty extreme language being used by... S and this isn't the worst part. If you guys have lasted this long for the video, I promise you the next part will be scathing. It will be a lying, chomping on whatever a wedge is. A wedge junior cheeseburger. Oh, it's not good for me. Probably should just stay away from wedge junior cheeseburgers. Especially extra cheesy. Anyway... Here we get a response. Regardless of how anyone feels about abortion, saying PP exists only for abortions is objectively incorrect, was my original point. This is true. Long discussing with dad this morning, I hope people are as passionate when I help wedge with St. Jude's or support Special Olympics. This is the type of response I expect out of a 7-year-old, or I guess 8-year-old, I don't know, a young child would respond in this way. But Wedge's response is very indicative of how crazy some of these YouTubers are. Kind of hard not to be passionate when we're working so hard to say terminally six children. St. Jude's is humanity's best. Now, don't take my what I'm saying out of context. St. Jude's is a really amazing program. But it has nothing to do with this discussion about Planned Parenthood and what the purpose of Planned Parenthood is and dogpiling on a smaller member of our YouTube community. You can't pull the card out. That would be like, hmm, I robbed this target for magic cards, but you know what? I got arrested and I tell the police, yo, you know, dude, I foster dogs. Don't arrest me. If you arrest me, then the dogs I foster won't have homes. So let me go with these... Um, Bent magic cards. So at the end of the day, 
you cannot say just because you did something good in the past doesn't give you carte blanche to win every argument. So again, we have an individual and his work in St. Jude's is admirable. That is something that we should envy and we should support and we should help. But you cannot bring that in an argument like this about Planned Parenthood supposedly educating a young child about Planned Parenthood by dogpiling on him, which his own subscribers and supporters agreed that this, yes, indeed was dogpiling. So, yeah, subscribe to his channel and say hi from a lion to a rhino. Now, do lions eat rhinos? I don't believe they do. And hopefully I would never have to. <laughs> I'll give, if he's watching this video, he does follow me on Twitter. I'll just say this. If you have another Kickstarter, yeah, I'll promote it. I'll promote it on my channel. Um, he does follow me on Twitter. I do not remember if I've ever interacted with him. But at the end of the day, he's a young child interested in magic and he is the future of our game. Why are we dogpiling him about Planned Parenthood? And is there a better way to do it? And lastly, you cannot win every argument by just saying how what you did in the past, uh, a charitable action you did. So Lance Armstrong cannot say, oh, well, you know, I got caught cheating for steroids, but it's okay because I raised all this money for... So yes, that Live Strong is still in existence. It's still Nike. And that was great. That was a great foundation. But you can't really use that excuse every single time that you want to win an argument. And if the argument is you cheated at bicycling, then you can't be like, oh, look at all the good I did. No, you still cheated. So if you dogpile the kid, you can't then go on to say that you raised a ton of money for kids. And therefore, your actions are appropriate. Anyway, that was kind of mean, wasn't it? But uh, subscribe to him and say hi from, let's say, hi from a lion or something like that. Bye. Narnia.